A trend that's not literally trending, it's not having a moment right now in the, the fashion world for uh, spring and summer 2024, but it's definitely relevant. It's definitely needed. It's definitely a classic and beyond. And I'm definitely wearing it, okay? I'm going to be talking about polka dots in this evening's video. Um, this dress is by Diane von Furstenberg and um, I am serenading polka dots. Okay, so in my closet, I find that I do have a lot of clothing that kind of transcends time. I'm very careful about my pickings and I do have things in there that I could wear over and over and over again year after year. Uh, with maybe new shoes, new accessories, a new jacket, um, with maybe extra layering and things like that. And I do find that polka dots is one of my pieces that I really appreciate. I really get a lot out of. And also I get a lot out of seeing it in my closet, like just looking at it. So even if I'm not wearing it, it is one of those pieces that's like eye candy for me. I don't know if any of you guys feel that way. If you have any polka dot items, comment below and let me know if your polka dot items are also like eye candy for you, okay? Um, there's something about the little marks, the little spots on the fabric. It just takes me back to when I was a little girl. Um, and I also love how a ladybug looks. Okay, I don't mean to get creepy crawly on you, creepy crawly on you guys, but um, when I was a teenager, I loved ladybugs, okay? I thought they were so beautiful. I love the color, you know, like the, um, the, the red with like the deep brown spots, polka dot spots on them. Um, when you see ladybugs a lot, you see like black dots on them, but it's really not black dots. Like if you look at them closely, it's like a, a brownish deep brown dot instead specks of dots on them right um yes because i did the research okay that's how much i love ladybugs okay um <laughs> and so they're coming out this spring you know and i feel like polka dots it's just a wonderful spring summery type of um design and print and so when i was a little girl let me not get digress when i was a teenager i loved ladybugs and i had this one ladybug backpack it was like a mini backpack and I loved it because it was a mini backpack and mini backpacks weren't popular then. Um, but unless they were like, you know, the animal backpacks. But anyway, I love this one particular ladybug print backpack that I would wear like all the time. And when I would head to the city, best believe when I was go, would go to the West Village to NYU, um, <laughs> because I would have rehearsals there for theater and things like that, um, I would tote along my uh, ladybug backpack. So I have fond memories of polka dots, how they emerged in my life. And I want to share with you guys tonight the essence of polka dots. You know, uh, it's not talked about right now, but like I said, it's relevant, it's here to stay, it's definitely not going anywhere, okay? Don't get it twisted. Polka dots are not going anywhere. And I'm gonna show you tonight how to enjoy your polka dot pieces, bring them back out. Um, and I also wanna share some information with you about actual polka dots right now. So Carolina Herrera, Dolce & Gabbana, um, this season have quality, beautiful luxury polka dot dresses um, that people aren't really focused on, but it's a thing, okay? And, and it always will be a thing, okay? Um, and also Diane von Furstenberg right now in her collection has some polka dot pieces, some polka dot dresses. So if you go on the website, you can check it out and see that. Um, I got this dress uh, a few years back um, and um, I'm gonna style it for you tonight along with another polka dot dress item that I have. So I'm gonna style these two dresses and um, just bring, uh, just, I don't know, just push and, you know, push forward the, the polka dot 
uh, essence, the polka dot vibe, the polka dot life, you know? Like, let's let's bring it in. Let, let's talk about it. Let's showcase it. Let's have fun with it, okay? Um, but polka dots is kind of contra controversial because some folks tend to think that, you know, well, if you're trying to lose weight, polka dots is gonna bring up the weight and maybe because it's a pattern, it's a print, you know, make it look like maybe you're behind is bigger than you want it to look, you know, or maybe um, your waist area is bigger than you want it to look. So I think it's not always the most sought after type of print because of that. But I find that small polka dots tend to work really well for me um, because uh, the, the shapes aren't so, you know, the circles on the garment isn't, it's not so bold and in your face. So I feel like it's a great way to also hide things if you're looking to hide certain parts of uh, your body or your weight. Um, don't get me wrong, it's definitely gonna pronounce things, you know? You can't go wrong, you can't go missing polka dots. But I think if you tone it down with like a black background and the polka dots on top, you know what I mean? Like that type of look or design, um, I think that it can go very smoothly and it won't show up too much. So I think it's a matter of the type of color that you have in the background of your polka dot item. A lot of people really don't flock to it. Um, and it's super classic, you know, polka dots, is, it's, it's a classic, but it's, front, it's fun, it's flirty. It definitely is a statement design and a statement look. And, um, you know, it's, it stems back from, what, the 1960s. We, we saw polka dots in a big way, you know, and it just kind of transcends time. And even in the 80s, polka dots were kicking, polka dots were hitting. You know, AKA in slang terms, hitting, it means popping, okay? And that's another slang. I'm using another slang for slang. And popping means, it's all right with me, right? It's like you're saying that, that that's hot. That looks really good. I'm good with it. You know, it's it's everything, okay? I'm, I'm teaching a little slang, okay? A little New York slang, okay? All right. I do a bunch of things on this channel, okay? Check mark, New York slang is up in there too. Okay, we're gonna check that off, okay. <laughs> okay, and let's not forget also, let's get into it, okay. Polka dots were a big thing when the Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier, you know, came out with the, the bodysuit, okay, the polka dot bodysuit, uh, the sheer dress. You remember that moment like about a year ago, all of the girlies were on that trend and loving that design. And I think that design is actually gonna go down in history. I think it's a clever polka dot statement uh, design. And it's also like a homage to the female body. So there's a bunch of different things going on with that Jean Paul, Jean Paul Gaultier uh, design. Um, and they also have a track jacket that I also want to get. Because you can wear it with denim. I feel like the track jacket is more me and like totally wearable. So I'm going to get that. Um, but yeah, you know, like let's not forget. Polka dots was, was a big trend. Polka dots were a big trend very recently. And we're not talking about it for the spring and summer. But I wonder if it's because it goes without saying. I wonder if it's because it's one of those you know, items, one of those looks that it's like, well, duh, you know, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's always in. So why even make a big deal out of it right now? I don't know. But I don't know. You tell me. Maybe let me know, right? What, what are your thoughts on that? Okay. Um, so yeah, let's get popping. Let's get things going. And um, I'm going to style this Diane von Furstenberg's dress for you guys. Um, and I also have and guys I have this farm real dress with these beautiful golden polka dots all over it okay this dress this dress is a heavy hitter okay it's flirty it's sexy it's everything it's tropical oh, it's dainty Oh, it's sheer. It's all of these amazing things. 
um, but I don't have anywhere to wear it to yet. And I wanted to wear this to someplace special. So I'm not gonna style this for you guys tonight, but I wanted to show you guys um, just the beauty of polka dots and like all the different things that you can do with it and how you can design it and just incorporate it into a tropical design. You know what I mean? On top of a tropical design. Shout out to Farm Rio for making such, such an amazing dress that I managed to grab and put into my wardrobe and it's gonna be there for a really long time. We're gonna style this Mac Studio um, ruffled um, maxi dress. It's kind of like asymmetrical too. So we're gonna style this. I haven't worn this in like a couple of years. So I'm very curious to see how my style idea is going to um, uh, just come to life with this dress and you know, do something different with it. So um, let's get started. Let's get let's get going. Let's get let's go. Let's get all of this popping. Okay. <laughs> so guys, for the first look with this Dayan von Furstenberg dress, I decided to add um, the Stuart Weitzman heels, which is kind of minimal. They're in the front, uh, which I feel goes really nicely with this dress. And I love the patent leather of these heels uh, with the pattern of this dress. Um, I feel like they both pop, but this pops in a more minimal way to allow the dress to stand out. Um, because I mean, look at the dress, the color along with the polka dots. I mean, it doesn't need much to stand out, right? Um, so yeah, I love it with these heels. And then I added to the mix, um, just my regular, um, uh, see-through bag, see-through uh, chain bag, and also I added um, some white sunnies to the mix because I feel like the white sunnies just kind of elevate the look a little bit. It makes it even more playful. Um, and then I like to do the whole thing, like, you know, if you're out in the sunlight, you have something to protect your eyes, so that's where the sunnies come in. Um, and why not go white, right? <laughs> to kind of play off the white polka dots in the dress, okay. So with the second look, I decided to add uh, my Ferragamo belt around the waist um, because I feel like it needed something a little more um, with this uh, Stella McCartney bag. I felt like um, I wanted to tie in the black a little bit more, so I added an extra black accessory and also i wanted to elevate the piece um for uh this type of occasion um you know i wanted to make it a little bit more sophisticated so that's why i chose to add the belt to the mix and um i feel like everything complements each other pretty well i do have on my silver hardware so that's just a different a way that you can um, kind of elevate a polka dot dress. Feel free to belt it with the right belt, of course, okay? It'll, it'll add a little bit of uh, dimension and proportion to things if the dress isn't already, you know, proportioned out, designed that way. You can add uh, the belt for a little bit of proportion. Um, and yeah, um, polka dots stand out on their own. So just keep that in mind. So you really don't have to do too much um, in order to make uh, the item pop. However, you want accessories that's gonna complement complement the item no matter what, you know what I mean? Like kind of play off that. I think that's a simple approach to styling polka dots, okay? I wanted to go for a bohemian flair type of look, okay? So I decided to add the Shuts heels it's like this burnt orange color, which I feel is a little bit different for this black and white polka dot dress. And I feel like it will complement things, complement things and like just stay unexpected, unexpected type of way, you know, like kind of blending, you know, orange with black and white. And uh, cause you know, usually it's like 
red with black and white, right? Um, so we're we're gonna do um orange, you know, for a different a different vibe. Um, and I also love burnt orange. I love it against my complexion, um, and things like that. So it's not like a vivid orange; it's a subtle orange. Um, and these heels are by Shut. So I have this cuff um, straight from Colombia. A friend of mine gave it to me as a gift. Um, this beautiful wooden cuff. There's some polka dot accents in there. Look at this beauty. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna rock my sunnies, my Prada round sunny. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the, the looks in this video. I I hope that I served. Okay. It's all about the serving. Okay. Um, and even, even if you have serving potential, you know, it's like, start there, start with your idea and, and just kind of work, work, work it in. Okay. The best way you can. Okay. It's, it's not about perfection. It's about going after what you want you know in the way that you can right now okay so if there's a piece that you don't have that i'm showcasing here it's fine you know work with what you have you might have a fun print that's maybe not polka dot maybe it's squares or you know something like that that you can also use to um And you use it in your favor and use as a substitute for what I'm sharing. Okay, so don't think it's like all or nothing, okay? Um, you can make it work for you and do things your way. Okay, so always keep that in mind. And also with the polka dot aesthetics, keep in mind that there's also accessories out there that you can get um, that you might already have, right? So it's not just about like a dress or a top, you know? It can be about a wallet, a clutch, okay? Marnie has uh, this really cute polka dot a patent leather bag that I love that I would like to get my hands on. It's like $1,000, but I see that it's also on sale for like 500 plus on guilt.com. So I've been eyeing that and also Dooney and Burke. Dooney and Burke has really cool polka dot wallets that you can check out um, as well. And also Comme des Garçons, okay? I have uh, a t-shirt by uh, Comme des Garçons Play. Um, you can get a fun, cool t-shirt to rock with your jeans or some trousers or however you want to do it. But it's like, it's not just limited to, I guess, like the bigger pieces, okay? Also, you might have some really cute polka dot cat eye sunnies that you might want to pull out you know right about now i mean there's just so many different ways that you can work in polka dots okay also you can work in polka dots in your home okay listen i i look things up they have polka dot shower curtains polka dot <laughs> polka dot decor pillows okay for your couch or your bed um there's like so many fun polka dot items out there. I'm not saying there's like a ton of it, but you could definitely find it if you're looking. Um, listen, polka dot rugs. Listen, I have a polka dot towel in my bathroom right now. My um, dry, dry off towel after I shower, take my bath. Um, so it, it's it's a thing and it's, be it's beautiful when I find polka dot items in places where I'm shopping, right? Cause it's not like, it's like it's popular, but it's not everywhere, okay? So it always fascinates me when I come across a polka dot item in the store. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed these tips and tools around polka dots. <laughs> and um, share with me in the comments if you have anything at home uh, for home decor that's, that's uh, polka dot design or print that you just simply adore or admire, okay? Um, so calling all the polka dot folks, yay polka dots, <laughs> yay polka dots, yes. It's really polka dot season, we just don't know it yet, okay? <laughs> I love to love you guys, it's your girl Tamara Nicola. I hope you enjoyed this video, Mwah! okay? Giving you self-care style, it's all about you. How about, you, how, all about how you feel about an item, giving you self-care style. It's all about you. It's all about how you feel in your clothing. It's all about how you choose to approach your day, okay? Big or small, 
no matter what, it's all about you. Okay, point blank and period, period, yeah. Bye guys, enjoy your weekend, enjoy the rest of your week because you'll be seeing this like most likely like on a Monday or Tuesday, right? So enjoy your week. Mm -hmm. I love you guys, love to love you.